Hello and welcome. I'm Natalie James. I'm a co-founder of the Reclaim Pride Coalition and uh, the Reclaim Pride Coalition COVID-19 Response Working Group organized this event. When we announced this press conference three days ago, we expected to use it to reveal that Mount Sinai was bringing Samaritan's Purse into Beth Israel Hospital, opening, opening up closed doors and treating COVID-19 patients there. Now this is Beth Israel Hospital behind us. But we also knew in putting some of these details into our press release that the, de the news of this expansion could spread early, and it did. And the result is that Mount Sinai and Franklin Graham's Samaritan's Purse uh, yesterday announced the end of their relationship. Samaritan's Purse will be gone from New York within two weeks. We are very relieved and consider this to be a victory for the LGBT community as well as other oppressed groups. Today, we will discuss the issues around this, and we will talk about the questions that remain for the leadership of Mount Sinai Hospital, the governor's office, and the mayor's office, all of whom collaborated to bring the hateful anti-LGBTQ, uh, anti-Muslim Franklin Graham and his organization, Samaritan's Purse, to New York City. Franklin Graham has described Islam as a, quote, evil religion, claims that the Muslim Brotherhood has infiltrated every level of U.S. government during Barack Obama's presidency, and has said that Satan is behind same-sex marriage. Graham's bigotry is so extreme that 10 ven venues within the United Kingdom ha canceled his bo bookings earlier this year. Um, since setting up operations in New York City, Graham has used the city as a platform to, we hope, help uh, patients in need, but, but more vigorously to proselytize those patients to his extremist evangelical Christianity and to exploit them by filming them in his medical tents and turning that footage into fundraising ads which have blanketed TV. We'd like to say a special thanks to Reverend Billy and his Stop Shopping Choir. Billy acted first. He went to Central Park, climbed over a fence, and planted a rainbow flag by Franklin Graham's tents. For that courageous act, he was brutally wrestled to the ground by police officers and held in a jail cell overnight without PPE. His bravery inspired Reclaim Pride to form this working group to fight Franklin Graham. New York City is a diverse community and has long been a safe haven for the New York City uh, community and others seeking protection from brutal discrimination. It does not need the hateful, destructive, and divisive rhetoric of Franklin Graham and Mount Sinai Hospital. Gov Governor Cuomo and Mayor de Blasio must come clean. How did this happen? How and why did Franklin Graham uh, become welcomed into New York City? Why did none of them recognize they were bringing a hateful presence here? And how will they make sure it never happens again? We will ha hear from several speakers today However, our press conference is being currently interrupted by the New York Police Department. This is a socially distanced event, and we have announced to the police that we are willing to, uh, to, dis to, to disperse in groups of less than 10 people. Nonetheless, the police are telling us that because it is an organized event, it is not allowed, and they are issuing summonses. This is why uh, we have not uh, started uh, with our speakers list, but I believe uh, Reverend Billy is now available to speak. Amen. Thank you, Natalie.